as usual, it was cool. All museums are cool. <laughs> like a frog. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I obviously am not in my apartment. I was rushing this morning as usual, so I was unable to um, start my vlog out this morning, or I guess yesterday, because I am in Abu Dhabi, and that was a whole day ago that I left. So, um, so we are in Abu Dhabi. Let's talk about the flight. The flight was long as usual. Um, I actually only watched one movie. Usually I watch like two or three movies, but I guess I was really tired for some reason. Um, so I only watched one movie um, and then I fell asleep like the whole time. So I am in Abu Dhabi specifically for the UFC fight tomorrow night. Um, I have plans to be here for the weekend and then go to Dubai or leave for Dubai on Monday. So the flight was cool. Um, I only ate once. The food was all right. It smelled like Chinese food, so I thought it was like fried rice and like General Souls chicken. But then when I ate it, it was like marinara, so I don't know what it was, but it was pretty good. So I did that. I fell asleep. Um, I woke up to a bag of chips on my tray table. <laughs> so I guess one of the flight attendants felt bad that I didn't eat anything else, so they gave me a bag of chips. I don't know. But, um, so that was cool. Um, I am not in an Airbnb like usual. Um, I'm in a hotel. So with my airline, we get a discount on hotels. And this is a, um, IHG hotel. This is an intercontinental, um, which is part of IHG. So we get a discount. So um, I got a discount, a pretty good discount to stay here. This is a really nice hotel. Um, I've only been in an intercontinental once. Um, I wasn't staying there, I was just visiting. Um, well, that sounded funny. I was in LA and my friend had friends who were in LA so we went over to the hotel <laughs> but um so yeah that's why I was there visiting but um so it was really nice they had a um I don't know what they're called a bellboy I don't know that seems like a rude name to call somebody I don't really know but a bell bellhop maybe bell person I don't know but the person got my all my bags out I only have two bags but they got all my bags out put it on that roller thing and I was like don't worry I got it I'll take your bags and I was like I don't know this is weird I never had that before someone just take my bags and then I was like okay well I need to get my ID out so he was like okay here's your ID and then I checked in and then I was like looking around for my bag and the guy was like oh no we'll take it up to the room for you so I go into the elevator I come upstairs and the guy like brings my bag upstairs like after that so I was like oh that's cool um, but so I also get a discount at the restaurant, so he said the restaurant I get a 25% discount, which is actually not that bad. But um, okay, so I guess we can do a room tour. So this is where you walk in. Nice, tall. I notice all the doors here in UAE go like all the way up. It was like that in my Airbnb in Dubai. Um, insert your key for the lights. I don't know what the makeup room is, but I'm gonna find out. <laughs> lights, mirror, yeah. Um, I buttoned up my jacket earlier because I didn't, I think my shirt shrunk, or I don't know, but there's a lot of gap here that wasn't here last time. Uh, here is the bathroom. It is like super bright. There's the shower. Oh. Oh, 
no, that's not even. That's the bathtub. The shower is over here. I didn't realize it was like separate. Oh, nice. Um, the toilet. Here's a phone just in case I fall and I need to get some help. Um, these are really big. Definitely taking those. Okay, my favorite part is actually in the closet because they give you slippers. And at first, when I saw that, I thought, ew, slippers, but they're wrapped up like brand new. So there's that. I don't have anything to hang up really. Um, I can change the temperature. Need to learn Celsius. Um, put my bag, my bed. My other favorite part is this place right here because this mirror is really nice for pictures. Uh, and you can see in the background the purple lights. Let's see. Um, I can push some buttons. I don't know. The coffee machine, which I'm a little confused about. Um, so like, does it make the coffee in here? Like where does the coffee come from? It's just a coffee pot. Uh, got some coffee cups, but I'm confused about the coffee pot. I don't know if, I can't, maybe, oh, uh, I think you put the hot water in there and then you pour in the, um, yeah, okay, maybe you put the hot water and then you pour in the coffee or tea. Okay, I get it. I get it. Some more mirrors. Um, so tele this was my snack on the plane. Television, welcoming me. Which, downstairs, they told me I was an IHG member, which I'm definitely not. Well, I guess I am. I just, I don't have any points. But, I wonder if I get discount room service. Um, there's this. I don't know, I don't know what these are. Maybe beach towels? There's a marina downstairs. Yeah, these are like... I think it's beach towels. There's a marina downstairs. The Uber driver was telling me he likes to come over here to hang out at the marina. Um, you can't really see outside. But that's like the, that's the entrance. I don't have a balcony. But, yeah. Some more. I'm like downtown. I know for sure right now I am going to look something up to eat. The hotel is definitely not walkable. Like there was a steep slope coming up here and uh, I don't really feel like walking down there. Um, I know the food here is really cheap to get it delivered. So I'm about to do that and then I'll like figure out what I'm gonna do tomorrow. So that's it for tonight. It is day two of um, Abu Dhabi. <laughs> um, I am on my way. Well, I wanted to sleep all day today, but um, I decided no, I should get up and do something. I wanted to sleep until the fight tonight because I definitely did not sleep at all last night. But um, I told myself to get up and go do something. So. Uh, you can see in the background, there's no plugs in the back in the bathroom, so I had to plug my straightener on the floor near the mirror because there's nowhere for me to straighten my hair besides right there, and I put the, ta the towel down from the desk, <laughs> so I had to like figure that out. Um, but I'm on my way to the Louvre. Um, they have one here in Abu Dhabi. They said it was really nice, so I'm gonna go check that out. Um, and then I am going to probably take a nap 
and then wake up and then go to the fight. <laughs> um, I was having trouble figuring out what to wear because to the museum because I don't really have like, I don't know, appropriate clothes. <laughs> Um, it was also hard for me to figure out what to wear on the plane because they actually sent a picture things that are appropriate and things that are inappropriate. Uh, I'll see if I can insert a picture of what that looked like. And most of my clothes are definitely in the inappropriate section. So I had a lot of trouble last, not last night, but um, the day I left for the flight. So <laughs> today I had the trouble too. This is actually a crop top, but I'm wearing... Um, high-waisted jeans <laughs> so to cover up my stomach a little bit to the museum because I know nobody wants to see my stomach in the museum but anyway so let's go okay I figured out what makeup room means it does not mean makeup room like you do your makeup in the room like I thought it's literally you push the button if you want your room made up or push this if you want to do not disturb so, yeah, <laughs> not do your makeup in the room. Literally make up my room. I don't know why I thought that. back from the museum um it was cool as we all know museums are always a good idea always super cool um it was actually like not crowded there was like um sorry for this terrible angle where'd my phone go um it was actually not crowded like I thought it was going to be for some reason. I thought the whole um, place, because it's Saturday, I thought it was going to be really crowded, but it wasn't. But yeah, so it was cool. Um, now I, well, I was going to start getting ready for the UFC fight because it is, uh, it's the ticket originally said that it was at midnight. But the email they sent me a few days ago is saying that doors open at 2 a.m. now. Um, so doors open at 2 a.m. That's definitely for like prelims. So I looked it up because they haven't posted the like actual card yet. So it says that prelims... Early prelims start at 4 a.m. Prelims start at 5 a.m. And then the main card starts at 7 a.m. So this whole time I'm thinking it's a midnight fight, midnight 2 a.m. fight, but it's like t 
tomorrow morning. <laughs> so if the main card starts at 7, that means the McGregor fight isn't going to be until like 9 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m. So I really don't have to get ready to go to the fight until the morning, <laughs> not now, I guess. Which, okay, my checkout is at noon tomorrow. But if the main car is on until 7 a.m., that gives me five hours because I'm definitely still leaving. Um, it's definitely still going to Dubai. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stay here another day just because the fight is later than I thought it was. But also, I'm not carrying my luggage to the stadium, <laughs> so um, I'm gonna like rush back here. I guess. I guess I should pack. I don't know. It's not even a mess. It's just I kind of put everything everywhere. I don't know. But. Cause my my um, my idea was I was coming back from the um, oh I touched my face I didn't even wash my hands yet um, my idea was to come back to the hotel um, get something to eat and then take a nap <laughs> and then get up and go to the fight but now I'm like I can full-blown like go to sleep which I think I might do <laughs> um which is I know kind of boring it's Saturday night but I'm like I don't like going out by myself I think I've said that before but I really don't like going out by myself and since I'm here by myself in Abu Dhabi I don't really want to do that so what I'm gonna do is get some food like I originally planned and then chill I guess until the morning. Like the thing is I really do not want to wake up early. Like I'd rather stay up which I know is a bad idea. But I'm jet lagged so it's not really like I'm staying up. It's more like I'm just staying awake normally, I guess. Because <laughs> I really don't want to, like, wake up at, like, 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. So I might just, I don't know. We'll see. I guess you'll find out the next time I check in <laughs> on the camera. But, yeah, I'm definitely getting food, though. So I guess I'll see y'all whenever I turn this thing back on. <laughs> Okay, so they just literally just posted the um, fight card um, as soon as I turn the camera off. So it says um, prelims, the pre-prelims start at 7 p.m. Um, the pre regular prelims start at 8 p.m. and the main card starts at 10 p.m. So it is what a nine hour difference between here and Eastern time. So if it starts at 10 p.m., that means 7 a.m. So the fight doesn't start until 7 a.m. So I can definitely like chill. I was like thinking it was at midnight. But it's not at midnight, so yeah, I can definitely chill. Alright, so I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow at 7 a.m. Alright, I am all ready to go. I am about to order my Uber to the arena. Uh, but first I have to stop downstairs to the business center because I have to print off my, um, my ticket and then print off my COVID test because you have to have a negative COVID test within 48 hours to even get into the arena, they said. So I need to go print that off and then my ticket. And then I think that's it. That's all I need. Um, it's kind of weird. Usually when I go to these fights, it's like 10 o'clock at night. So I feel like I'm about to go out, <laughs> but it's literally five o'clock in the morning. So it's not even like a night out. It's like 
I guess, I'm warning out. Um, that's my alarm telling me that it's time to go. Um, yeah, it's definitely time to go. So, like I said, I'm going to print off my ticket, <clears throat> my COVID test. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's a night out, but it's a morning out, I guess. <laughs> Um, it's just kind of like strange, but it'll be fun <laughs> to go there in the morning. Uh, I definitely slept for like, I don't know, two hours. I was watching um, Deadpool and then um, at the end of it I fell asleep. Not because it was boring, it's actually a really funny movie, but I was actually kind of tired for some reason. Well, I didn't sleep last night, but anyways. So I was watching Deadpool, then I fell asleep for like an hour or two, and then I woke up. Um, I'm a little hungry. <laughs> I It's literally 5 a.m. I had no idea where I could get food at this time, so I'm hoping the stadium has... Um, something to eat besides soft pretzels and hot dogs <laughs> but anyways yeah my timer went off so I literally have to go so let's get out of here Um, it was a good day. It was early. I was tired. Um, I'm still tired. I'm exhausted, actually. Um, but it was a good fight. Um, I wasn't actually rooting for anybody because I was... Because I like both men on the main card. Um, Poirier and McGregor like both of the men. So I wasn't rooting for anybody specifically. So I was recording on my phone and not with my camera because I said no video recorders so I just used my phone to record with. Um, but yeah, the venue was really nice. Eddie had Arena, I think that's what it was called, but it was really nice. Um, I actually saw the flight attendants. They had their, I saw they were going to have them from um, the Etihad's. Um, Instagram, the airline's Instagram page, I saw that they posted, I think it was yesterday, that the flight they're going to have flight attendants there, and I actually saw them, <laughs> so I was like, oh, that's so cool. Um, I love their flight attendants, their uniforms are so cute, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I am back, I'm exhausted, um, let's see, I have to check out at noon. But I think I'm going to leave at 12.30 because um, I'm checking in to the Airbnb in Dubai. And I told the guy, the, um, the Airbnb host, I told him 2 o'clock was when I was going to get there because it's about an hour and a half drive from here, Abu Dhabi, to Dubai. <laughs> um... So I told him 2 o'clock, I'm leaving here at 12.30, so I'll get there at 2 o'clock. Um, and actually the, um, the Uber driver who picked me up from the museum last night is taking me to Dubai, <laughs> um, which is not bad. I would prefer somebody who I kind of know. I just met him yesterday as a driver, um, but he was really nice. So it's kind of nice to have someone you kind of know drive you for that long. But um, yeah, he said, because we were talking in the car, the, the Uber drivers here are very nice. <laughs> so we were talking in the car and I told him that I was leaving to Dubai today. 
and then he told me that he could take me there um so yeah he's gonna take me there um i wanted to take a nap <laughs> before going but that's not gonna happen i'll probably lay down for like i don't know maybe 20 minutes or so and then i'm gonna go i'm a little bit bummed out though because um i didn't see they were selling t-shirts i really 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 wanted a t-shirt today but i didn't see any booths that were selling t-shirts i didn't see anybody carrying around t-shirts or a bag that would have had a t-shirt in it so i'm a little bummed about that but other than that, it was a good fight, a nice, um, a nice arena, um, yeah, it was, just, it was really nice. I'm glad I went, um, well, I'm glad I came all the way to Abu Dhabi just to go, jeez, uh, they were literally, I'm pretty sure the majority of the people in there were Irish. I heard a lot of Irish accents, that's all I know. Um, I saw a lot of Irish flags, but I heard a lot more Irish accents than anything. So I'm pretty sure everybody there was Irish. Obviously for Conor McGregor. But anyways, yeah, so I will see y'all. Well, okay, I guess I should end the vlog here because once I get to Dubai, I'm going to be in Dubai for a whole week. So once I get to Dubai, it'll be like a whole new vlog. Also, my uncle from the... Um, why am I blanking? I'm like too tired to think right now, obviously. Uh, my uncle from the Miami vlog, he's coming to Dubai, so that should be fun. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching my Abu Dhabi um, vlog. My Abu Dhabi vlog, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you tell all your friends about it. Uh, follow me on Instagram and stay tuned for the second my second Dubai vlog. I know I vlogged a Dubai one in October, but it's okay. I make another one for um, January. So thanks for watching and make sure you stay tuned.